Hello everyone, welcome to the Thin Ice. Wonder if we're ever gonna get to go on to Bane's Moon. Uh, we'll see that. Anyway, uh, don't worry about reading the objectives, let's just look at this. Congratulations on the Stripe Commander. I heard the news. I'm sorry about the mess back at the ruin. I'm going to file a complaint with the AAN as soon as I can. I don't care who he is. General Bradder cannot play games like that with people's lives. You I don't know what he's it. after, but he showed his hand when he panicked like that over the Scion transmitter. Braddock's not following any battle plan that I'm aware of. I would be wary of promotions that come in the heat of battle, especially in an environment like this. Braddock's making enemies left and right, and he's willing to do whatever he can to keep your loyalty. Wow, the loyalty of one completely unremarkable uh, commander. Great, thanks a lot. Um, well, at least the heat of bell is a welcome change in this place. Commander Shavayev, don't think I didn't notice those papers you sent to my office. You just better thank your lucky stars that we can't reach the AAN right now, because believe me, you'd regret having filed that report. What a shame, it had to go through him first, I guess. Ambassador Cossier, this is Parashar Burns of the Scions. Human. Biometal. General Braddock. Experiments. We request a meeting. Talks to restore peace to the universe. On our planet, Rend. Well, that sounds quite promising, actually. Uh, let's see, I believe Mr. Cossier uh, belongs to the AAN? Hmm. Anyway, highest ear recycler. No hard points, no requirements. Nice stuff. I still don't know why it says inhospitable, because it really isn't. Anyway, full brief. Commander Shabayev has drafted a formal complaint for the AAN about General Braddock's actions, detailing his possibly unsafe haste, definitely unsafe haste, in following the Scion army through the wormhole, and concluding with the details about Braddock's attack on the ruins on Bane. With communications temporarily cut off from the AAN, Shabayev's complaint is on file for now, though a copy was submitted to General Braddock's office. Office on a ship. <laughs> I like that. The close call on the ruins gave me half a day in sick bay. They patched me up and sent me out for the next mission to attack the Scion base, but it was enough time to myself to really think about things. I always knew that soldiers die for their country, but it seemed noble, what politicians talk about while they're waving the flag and sending men off to war. I never imagined it would be like this, down and dirty, seeing death on some strange planet, not even knowing what I'm fighting for anymore. Almost killed by my own general. Just a pawn in another man's war. Mm. Condor 4, you can take the pipe. So Why, thank you, C3. Nice. You are truly an officer and a gentleman. <laughs> Was that sarcasm? Hey there, scout. Hey there, saber. Promising start. Sir, are you in there? Yeah. You all right. That was a close one. Long range communications are down and I can't make contact with any of the other drop teams. Maybe we should enter the original drop zone at Nav 1. Oh man. So the Scions have anti air capability. Hmm. Oh man, it was a blue dropship as well. I like those ones the best. Ah, too bad about uh, the Sabre guy. Looks like he didn't make it. Okay then. Well, let's head toward the drop zone, I guess. On your six. What about that crash ship, sir? It's a dead giveaway to our location. How does it feel to fly? Okay then, if it's a dead giveaway, then we'll get rid of it. 
get rid of all the evidence. Hopefully the satchel charge will be powerful enough. It was powerful enough to destroy an ISDF drilling rig. Thirty seconds is fine. We won't have to worry about this thing. There's another one of those ruins. We can go across the water very nicely. There's a lot of water on uh, some parts of Bane. That ought to cover our tracks, at least for a while. <laughs> Falling to pieces. Okay then, let's go find some life forms in this inhospitable planet. Maybe it only means inhospitable to humans, that description. Oh. Strike. That's the Scion well, base. Well, Shouldn't we find another way around, sir? Yes, we should. Yes, we should. I'm glad to have someone level-headed by my side. <laughs> it's almost as if you're a replacement for Shavayev. You taking after her too? Ah. I've got a big green radar hit 400 meters to the west. That just might be our other recycler, sir. <laughs> okay, well, you, s <laughs> you see this patch of uh, strangely discolored ice, and the fact that on the radar it looks like there's a giant hole there. That's the thin ice that the mission uh, title was talking about. It's good to see you alive, Commander. I didn't think anyone survived the crash. I'm surrounded by thin ice and my radar is down, so I can't maneuver around it. You're going to have to be my eyes and help me get to Nav 1. Mm. Deploying! Okay, nice to meet you, Rattler and uh, Interceptor. Now, the, <laughs> the Interceptor is a really odd vehicle. It, in the base game, it doesn't do anything. I remember it doing something in the demo. Uh, and in multiplayer, it actually functions as a sort of uh, heavy, well, heavy rocket unit. Okay, so, talking. We've got to get our recycler moving out to safety without, well, without making it uh, roll over the thin ice. If it does, it'll drown although it will only act like it drowned, because it can actually just uh, get up, well, just about any surface. Well, it, it can get up the steep surface if you uh, wait long enough after the mission fails. <clears throat> but, anyway, we also need to make sure the Interceptor survives, strangely enough. Uh, Gladly. Gladly. Just follow the interceptor turret. Uh, yeah. Okay, go over out. here. Now you can actually destroy all of the thin ice, and if you do that, then the recycler will find its own way forward. It will say so. Now, the thing that, cre uh, that uh, always creeped me out about this mission when I was younger was all these. Okay, they're giant things, but you can't see them very well, they're too far away. Okay, come this way. Don't trip on the ice. Let's try and get some info on these, actually. wonder if we can. What's their name again? Ice Rhino. A large creature well suited to cold climates. See? Yeah, nice. And scary looking though. Uh, doesn't seem to be bothering us. Well, that's all right then. <laughs> Don't think I was scared of nothing. I'm trying to navigate my way out of here, sir. Do you want me to do something else? Uh, You've got to get me to the drop site at Nav One, Commander. I'm trying to help you navigate your way out of here. Do you want me to do something else? Oh, 
Warriors inbound yeah, and I'm a sentry. Ah. Scratch one. At least I'm better at Neo Aquarium than I am at this. Got to get that recycler deployed soon so that we can get some. Uh, then make sure you're on your way here. Moving out. <laughs> yeah, better get that recycler deployed soon so that we can get some nice supplies. Think about this. It's an ice maze. Oh. Uh, that does not look too friendly. Whoa! I've never heard that before. Hey, guy, can you help? Yeah, out? I'm on it. No? Oh, you're helping out now. Okay, great. Man, these things are really tough. Meanwhile, recycler, get over here. Moving out. Oh, looks like the other one's going. One. Yeah, I'm on it. Good. Oh, wait. <laughs> ah. Okay, you provoked it now. Looks like it might have actually left us alone. Sorry, it didn't get out of my way. You're no replacement for Shabayev at all. You're not invulnerable. Oi! Hmm. <laughs> they just disappear from existence. Moving out. Come on, we're almost there. Oh. Scout over there, okay. I uh, have no idea why uh, someone brought to my attention a. Uh, oh man, okay then. Here's our drop zone. Moving out. Yeah, I'm on. Come on, just keep it up. Offensive unit oh, lost. Can't lose Morning. here. Damage critical. Oof. Okay. Whoops. Uh, you need to deploy now. Roger that, Commander. Rattler. Deploying. You underway. need to deploy now too. Uh, yes, sir. You're the boss. Okay there. Okay, go forward and then deploy. If that makes you feel better. Moving out. We have survivors. Do you copy down there? Deploying. Affirmative. We need immediate evac. Roger that, recycler. Unfortunately, we are about 15 minutes from your current location, so stay low if you can. Commander Shabayev's ship went down somewhere in your area. See if you can locate it. Copy, Condor 1. Commander, we're going to have to buy some time, and you're going to have to make sure my transport survives. Sorry about that. Should've warned you first. Okay, I thought we would be able to, well, leave these things alone, but oh well. I guess they're not so bad once you get used to them. Okay then. <laughs> supplies! Building. Can't defend without supplies now, can we? Building complete. Okay, Building. now let's see. Ah yes, we actually get control of the uh Building complete. Okay, I'll put you there. Control of the interceptor. Really, really.
really weird thing. Building. It doesn't even have any weapons. Not, not, Building complete. not in this mode. Okay, okay. It says transport. But uh, there it says an ISDF stasis truck. Carrying more survivors. Building. Okay, we'd better get uh, scavenger up. Hmm. There is a lot of scrap just laying around. Yes, sir. Building complete. Got it covered. Hmm. Okay, search for Shabayev's crashed dropship. Transport must survive. Must. I've located a dust off site. We placed a oh. nav beacon there. But the side is guarded by Scion turrets. Take out those turrets, Commander, and we'll try to make a landing to pick you up. Hmm. Sounds good to me. Okay, I want... Oh, man, there are so many... Oh, no, you've got to be joking! Why? Why? Send anyone to attack you yet? Defensive unit lost. Oh, sorry, transport. I can't save you. Your transport has been destroyed. Offensive unit lost. Warning damage critical. What? No mission failure yet? <laughs> oh, look! There's the failure screen! I was wondering when we were going to see that. Uh, well, for, for a game which was apparently rated uh, E10, this screen is pretty graphic. Why does our head have to explode, really? Man, okay, I really wasn't expecting such a sudden attack. I didn't have anything to defend with or any time to get anything to defend with. So, that was a bust if there ever were one. Next time, we will hopefully be in a slightly safer situation. Thank you for watching, everyone. Bye for now.